Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, you'll learn how easy it is to control the STL Tone Hub using the M Wave Chocolate MIDI controller. Let's get started. When you launch the Cube Suite program on your desktop, you'll be presented with this screen. To set up the chocolate controller to control the STL Tone Hub, go to the Mode Selection tab and select Program Change A. Next we need to set the expression pedal. Select expression pedal and click interface. Double click the entry and enter 11 for data. The loosen value is the value of the pedal when it is fully open. Enter 127. The step on value is the value of the pedal when it is fully closed. Enter 0. Click OK. Close the interface and exit the editor. You're now done programming the controller. Let's set up the STL Tone Hub software. Before we begin, we must first set up the software to receive MIDI messages. Click Audio I.O. in the upper left corner. Check USB MIDI from the Active Input section and close the pane. Now the software will receive MIDI messages from the chocolate controller. In order to change presets, we must first create a bank. This is done by clicking the plus icon next to the bank label. The create new bank box will open. Enter a name and click OK. Now let's save presets to this bank. First select a preset. Click the plus icon next to the preset label. Enter a name and click OK. For the tutorial, we'll create four presets, but you can create as many as you wish. Before we MIDI learn presets, you should note that many of the presets in the software have been factory set to use PC messages 0 to 3 for effects, which are the first bank on the chocolate controller. For the tutorial, we are using bank 2, which is set by stepping on pedal C and D simultaneously. Now that you've finished creating your presets, click the MIDI icon. Under Global Bindings, highlight Next and click None to activate the MIDI Learn. Press pedal 1 on the chocolate controller. You'll see the PC number displayed. Next, highlight previous and click none to activate MIDI Learn. Press pedal 2 on the chocolate controller. You'll see the PC number displayed. Close the box. Now, when you press pedal 1, you'll move forward in the preset list. And when you press pedal 2, you'll move backward. Toggling effects with the chocolate controller is easy. Simply right click on an effect to activate MIDI Learn and press a pedal on the chocolate controller. If you have an expression pedal, you can control knobs using the same method. Right click on a knob to activate MIDI Learn and move the expression pedal. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.